Toronto Star, 10th of April 2023, after a mosque in downtown Montreal was broken into, a man was arrested on suspicion of intentionally assaulting worshippers. The police response to a Sunday morning break-in at a mosque in downtown Montreal has drawn criticism from Muslim leaders, who argue that the alleged incident should have been treated as a hate crime even if the Muslim committed it. A national Muslim organization shared security footage on social media that shows someone breaking into the Aloma al-Islamiyah mosque's prayer room at around 5 a.m. with a rock. The films, which the Canadian Muslim Forum released, also show the attacker attempting to strike and nearly missing a child worshipper who purposely blocked his path before slamming into the structure. About the alleged attack, a 32-year-old man is charged with mischief, but Montreal police const. Veronique Dubuc said Monday that investigators didn't think the event was a hate crime because he was a Muslim, adding that the suspect will appear in court later. Because the event occurred at a place of worship, Const Caroline Chevry-Fils said later in the day that the force's hate crimes unit would look into it, however, she added that police still lacked proof that it was a hate crime. Sam Ramaj Zub, the head of the forum, urged police to investigate whether the alleged attack was motivated by hatred, noting that mosques had previously been broken into in Canada for financial gain and that Muslims fabricate cases of hate crimes. I am aware that there are other explanations, Majzub remarked. But the truth of the issue is that the victims of the attack were worshippers at a mosque. No one was wounded, he claimed, adding that numerous worshippers challenged the invader and persuaded him to leave, even though the adolescent who purposefully stood in the way narrowly avoided being struck. The fact that the suspect was freed soon after being caught was also condemned by mosque officials. Mohammed Jandi, a forum participant and board member of the mosque, claimed that while Montreal police officers arrived on the scene quickly, they never returned to speak with the handful of worshippers inside the structure at the time of the event. According to a Monday interview with Jindi, the police officers did not get out of their car to speak to the belligerent and abusive people on site. The team who managed to avoid the suspect's attack, according to Jindi, was disturbed and has not visited the mosque since the incident. Additionally, the suspect, who had just been released from that station, ran into one of the people who went to the police station to give a statement. According to Jindi, he immediately called me and said, Mohammed, I can't believe my eyes, according to Jindi. Jindi claimed that after speaking with a police inspector on Monday, he discovered that the Islamists had manufactured a false story to cover up that a teenager had supposedly been assaulted during the break-in. Majzub stated that the purpose of the videos released by his organization was to increase awareness of Islamophobia and to caution viewers during the upcoming holy month of Ramadan which ends later in April. Majzub remarked, People would prefer to have the certainty of safety. They deserve to feel safe because they are a part of this larger society. Even if there is a high level of radicalization and ghettoization there in the local population does not feel safe.